rise in cases and hospitalizations in Mobile County. The Mobile County Health Department reporting the highest weekly number of cases since the start of the pandemic. News 5's Gabby Easterwood is joining us live in the studio tonight to break down some of these new numbers. Well, Pete, the numbers speak for themselves with high increases each week in July and now hitting that record number of 3,123 positive cases in the county. Now, the health department expects another record to be broken this week as well. I would like to say happy Monday, but this is a very not happy Monday. Frustrations coming in high as Mobile County Health Department reports their record number of weekly positive COVID-19 cases. There is no end in sight. Since May, case numbers have skyrocketed. At the beginning of May, cases were relatively low, sitting at the mid 100s. In the last two weeks, we have increased over 2,000 cases. The record number of cases sitting at over 3,000. It's the highest rates of COVID transmission that we have seen in this entire pandemic. 32% of those who got tested tested positive last week, also setting a record. And those in the younger community continue to make up the majority of positive cases. 60% or so of the cases are in people who are 18 to 49 years old. So still hitting those younger populations who have milder illness, thank goodness, but who also have very low vaccination rates. The daily number hospitalized is at a point we have not seen since the peak on January 11th, and they're continuing to rise. University Hospital ICU is at 100% capacity, and other Mobile County hospitals aren't far behind. Over taxing of our hospital, our entire healthcare system actually, that could be avoided with higher vac vaccination rates in our community. So please, even if you don't think COVID will impact you. Think about the impact of an overloaded health care system on you and your family. And to pushing for those unvaccinated to get vaccinated, Dr. Murphy also says she encourages all of those in Mobile County to follow CDC guidelines and to wear a mask indoors, regardless if you're vaccinated or not. Reporting live in studio, Gabby Easterwood at WKRG News 5. The Alabama